right, so this is the red sail laser. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace the laser tube. You'll notice I put clamps on the hoses. And uh, this video will also help for a first time installation. Now, replacing a laser tube is pretty much the same on most Chinese lasers. So I've gone ahead and uh, clamped the hoses off. And now I'm going to open the new box with the new laser tube in it and we'll go ahead and install it. Okay, so laser tubes are extremely fragile, so be very careful when opening up the box. As a matter of fact, if you order more than one, check both of them right away to make sure that they are not cracked. Okay, so this is the end that the laser comes out, and I'm going to go ahead and unwrap the foam. Again, looking for cracks, I do not see any so far. That is where the hose will be plugged in. Um, notice that little screw there. That is actually your, uh, one of your connections. And you'll notice the plastic with the little notch at the other end. That is where your other connection will go. Okay, so the unit is installed, almost. It's in place anyway. This is what it looks like from the, uh, the side where the laser comes out. If we come around to this other side, this is the other, other end of the laser. Now you'll notice this connector right here. Um, you will actually have a cap over this. And I've taken that off. And I'm going to screw down my connector to that. You'll notice my end of this connection is black. That's because my laser was failing and it started uh, sparking. Alright, now to do the other end. Almost, there we go. And one thing I forgot to mention is I like to put electrical tape around. And that's actually how, how it originally, uh, one of my other lasers came that way. So I do it the same on this way. And I'm also going to put electrical tape on the other end, um, which I did not do, but I'm going to go back and do that. Okay, I just want to show you that I did put electrical tape on. Um, why is it red? No particular reason. It's just what I had around. Okay, so I had to rotate the tube a little bit here. I'm going to put the first tube on. Um, get rid of in, uh, any excess water that may be in the tube. Um, well, just see if you can get any out. And uh, if you don't have concrete, <laughs> have a bucket ready. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. Okay, if you can't tell, I have the tube on. Uh, it's nice and snug. Now I'm going to go and do the other side. Okay. That was a little bit easier. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and uh, fill this suck with water. Okay, it's starting to fill with water. You can see that. You actually don't want to be able to hear any noise. You can rotate the tube a little bit. If you can, to get that air out. Oh, there we go. There goes a bubble. You're going to make sure you have no bubbles. So kind of rotate the tube back and forth a little bit until you get all the bubbles out. Okay, so now that we have all that done, I'm going ahead and screw in the tube in. It doesn't have to be too tight, just snug. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on the other panels that I took off. Um, the other laser, uh, it's a small eBay laser. It doesn't have those extra things you have to take off. Uh, the tube is actually much easier to install than this, but the basics are all the same. Now on this laser I have a few more pieces to put on. You can see the those tops that I and sides that I took off. Um, some lasers don't have those. So at this point you would just, uh, now that you have your water going, 
you may have to realign the uh, the lenses, which I will talk about in another tutorial. All right, ready to go ahead and get this thing uh, turned on. Well, thank you for checking out this tutorial on replacing the laser tube. You can shoot me any questions. I'll try and answer them if I can. And uh, again, appreciate watching.